Paul went to GE. He looked at technology. You love technology. I love GE. Yeah, yeah, research stuff. So players. take a look at this. And uh, thanks again, Jimmy. Thank you You're so right, much. You're right, brother. Really Great awesome. show. Thanks, everybody. Hi, I'm Paul Miller with The Verge. I'm in a car right now. And uh, I'm in upstate New York. I'm about to check out GE's uh, research labs. And uh, I've been tweeting back and forth with uh, GE, just trying to get a vibe. You know, what, what's GE into? You know, what did GE eat for breakfast? Um, and, you know, there's, I think I have a lot to learn. You know, I, I've got a lot of, um, I got a lot of questions, you know? And I, I'm, I'm ready to find some answers. So we are the central technology organization for GE. And in that role, we support every GE business from healthcare to energy to aviation to transportation. It's great to be at the center of all that stuff going on in the world. So this is GE's new Watt Station ecosystem. So, you know, you can uh, show up here, charge your car and stuff, but they also want to tie into surrounding services. You can uh, maybe reserve a rental car. Uh, we actually rented a, <laughs> not rented, a, purchased a pizza. Nobody really knows what's going to happen or how it's going to be used, but by packing all this smart technology in there, there's some really uh, potentially emergent applications that could come out of it. But mostly it's gonna be for pizza delivery. What are these, what are these closets yeah. for? So this is, this is cancer, is that correct? Look at this, I'm like a professional already. Enhance. They've got a, um, a prototype wireless patient monitor. What are all these little closets in each one? So I'm at GE's Trip Optimizer, which is sort of like an uh, autopilot for Trey. That's right. The thing the Trip Optimizer does differently, it anticipates where this speed reduction is and backs off on the throttle, so it only goes to idle. How do you do uh, blue sparks? Blue sparks. Yeah, Mario Kart, you toggle the joystick back and forth and you get the blue sparks and that gives you a speed boost. With a laser, we bring our components together with square edges. Mm -hmm. Bring them together, use the high energy density of the laser to penetrate straight through that. I was told, like, if you're making a battleship, you're saving hundreds, thousands of tons. Because, you know, I'm actually looking... I haven't welded a battleship yet, I'm but... trying, that's <laughs> what I'm looking at doing, and it turns out that I, there'd be a lot of waste and metal, and so I'm, I'm just shopping around for the best way to create my own battleship. This is a, uh, a dead man switch that allows us to start and stop the process. And if, if the laser kills you while it's welding, I will let go of the you'll let go and, and the stop. process will stop. Yeah. Even though you'll be dead, the laser will stop, which is Everybody the important part. Yes. Great. All right, let's do this. Firing. Battleship grade. You know, when I think about the world, when I think about our world, our shared planet, shared existence, and the resources, the finite resources we have. I think about energy and smart grids and electric vehicles. Eventually, I just think about the great research they're doing here in the, the middle of New York State, somewhere, somewhere, at the Global Research Center. This is Paul Miller, signing off. I actually have no idea what they do up here. I get, I get the overwhelming impression you didn't understand a lot of stuff. <laughs> Dude, I found, I found cancer. Is that true? You found it. You're like, that's it.